and we're going to be rebooting one of my favorite shows from my childhood, Good Times. Uh, it's coming back as an animated version, though. Oh, cool. Uh, it's going to be on Netflix. It comes out on Friday. And the excitement that I had has been tempered by uh, the backlash that started once the trailer dropped for this. Um, and there were a lot of people who were upset about what they saw uh, as this new depiction of the Evans family. Um, and it's not, just so we're clear, it's not the Evans, it's not redoing the good times no. from the 70s. This is supposed to be the decades new generation. Have so decades have passed. It's the new Evans uh, right. family. The relatives. But here's a little bit of, uh, of the trailer so you can understand, to get an idea of what it is that some people are upset about. And then we're going to be joined by one of the cast members, uh, Thelma, from the original Good Times, going to be here to talk about the new uh, Good Times. But here is a little bit of the show. I have important news. Let me guess. The state called, and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Me for not wearing a condom. Doing his repeat in the 10th grade for the third time. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive-thru? Can you do OnlyFans? We're just as good as the Evans of old. Isn't that just dynamite? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. Okay, so uh, people have some very strong opinions about that show. And the, 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 the most of the backlash is that why is the Evans family, decades later, generations later, still struggling in poverty right. In Chicago. Uh, joining us right now uh, to talk about this, Bernadette Stannis, who played Thelma, Thelma Evans, on the original Good Times, and she is joining us right now. Bernadette, welcome to TMZ Live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, it, I have to say up front, um, I am an incredible fan. I loved the show. I loved your character growing up, so it is an honor to be talking to you. Um, so that being said, what did you think? What did you think when you first heard that they were going to be doing this? And I know you have uh, a small voice role on the show, but what did you think before they even contacted you when you heard that they were going to be doing this? Well, um, I was very excited, very excited, and I had no idea, you know, what what it was or what was going to happen. So um, I must say this though, um, Jimmy Walker uh, did contact Norman's office in. 2020, and um, he pitched a Good Times cartoon, which would include every all of us except for Esther Roll, and um, and um, we didn't hear anything back from them. But um, a few months later, or I think six months later, they came up and said they they have a cartoon. Sony said they had a cartoon coming, and so we uh, so my manager called up Norman's office to see if it's if we, if we were included, I mean, if, if you're going to do that, you know, let us know. So uh, they said, oh, no, it's going to be generations later and it's going to be like progressive or whatever. And um, but but Brent Miller loves us very much, loves me and Jimmy. I know that. And so he said, but um, I can give you a small role in there because it's about, you know, a new generation. So um, I have my little my little role is called Peaches. I'm like one of the project women who are fighting for the rights, you know, that kind of thing. And Jimmy has a small role too. But um, that's all that was said. But when I did see it, it looked like we were still in the project. And the things that were said, and it wasn't quite what I know Esther Rowe would agree to. <laughs> so it kind of, you know, took me back a little bit on that. Um, well Bernadette, what, what I found really interesting there is that you were told when the Norman you were referring to, for those that are Norman Lear, uh, who was the executive producer of the original, um, but you said that you were told it was going to be a cartoon and that it was going to be progressive. It, that's exactly the criticism, is that it doesn't feel progressive at all. And you do mention the late, uh, great Esther Roll, who played your mom on the show, um, and that it wouldn't be something she's proud of. Uh, it's just weird that they said to you that it was going to be progressive, but that's exactly what it doesn't feel like. I, I was a little, I was a bit disappointed because it really was not a reflection of the good times that we know. So when you see something that that actually is not progressive, it kind of brings you back into the projects two generations later. So Thelma had a baby. What happened to that baby? Um, I wanted to be a surgeon. I guess I was. JJ was a famous artist. So you have positive images 
generations before that. And then all of a sudden you see this, you know, I'm not knocking it because I don't know what the whole show is going to be. Maybe they'll bring it, lean it more back, you know, back to a more, more positive situation. But when you have the name Good Times on top of that, our audience of 40 or 50 years have been really in our corner. You know, they've always supported us. So they were disappointed that they didn't have it more progressive. Have they said anything to you, Bernadette? Have, have the producers explained this to you? Have, have, have they said anything about the way it turned out? Absolutely not. Interesting. Uh, and I know that part of the, the criticism that people expected more, that, Seth, that Steph Curry and Seth right. MacFarlane are executive producing. Obviously, right. Norman Lear has passed. Um, but um, I don't know. I, I, you know... I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I honestly thought that it was, even when I knew it was animated, I thought it was going to be sort of a retelling that it was putting them back in the 70s. Right. I didn't realize that it was them modern and current day because now I get that criticism. That right. totally makes sense. But, um, you know, I, we'll see how it, how right. it does. Like right. you said, it's, the it's audience. It's a trailer level. at this point. We'll see when it comes out later this week. Yeah. Well, I want, I want to say something about my friend Norman Lear. Um, I was at his 100th birthday, and I did mention, you know, I said, Norman, well, how do you, how do you think about about the cartoon? How do you like the cartoon? And how's it going to be? You know, I'm trying to get some information, but you know, <laughs> so he he kind of smiled. He looked at me, and and it was as if he didn't really understand what I was, you know, you know. So maybe it was a senior moment. He is a hundred. He was he was a hundred, you know. So I don't know if it was that, I, but I, I love Norman. And I do believe that he maybe was told the same thing I was told. I don't know. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, hey, because he only produced quality work. So I got to say in his behalf, I don't know if he really understood what it was going to be about or he just knew it was going to be a cartoon for, for good times. Because like everyone else, you think of good times, you think you have the title on there, you automatically think of us. Yeah. Oh, they better keep the theme. If they don't have the theme song, <laughs> now I, I'm out. Now I'm, you're not, done, I'm, I'm not right? watching. Uh, Thelma, thank you so much for being this. By the way, I know you have a book coming out uh, this fall. Good times, ain't we lucky we got them? I this is your your memoir about putting the, making the yes, show. Yes, my, my yes. How I saw good times while I was on there. You know, a lot of stories about you know my relationship with all of my cast members. And um, it's written by myself and my, and my daughter, uh, Brittany Rose. Brittany, so, you are such a good actress that Charles called you Thelma. I called you Thelma. Yeah, that's how that's, great of an actress well, I grew up. Well, I grew up watching you with Thelma. <laughs> I've always been called Thelma by all my fans and everybody. So I have embraced it a long time ago. Excellent. Well, as well you should. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Bernadette. Slash Thelma. Uh, love you, love you, love you so much. Thank you for being no, with us. Appreciate it. I really do. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank okay. you. Thank you for being here, Bernadette. I, I, I'm, I'm going to watch it. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to yeah. give it a chance, despite the criticism, and then we'll see.